It's the AV Club's game of fantastical decision-making, Pick a Choice, where our celebrity guests compete against nobody for non-existent cash and prizes. And now it's time to meet your host, me! Hey, AV Clubbers, this is you. Our senior editor, John Tady, and it's time again to play Pick a Choice, the decision-making sensation that's sweeping two nations. Our guest today is comedian Matt Browner. Yes. Is it Browner or Bronger? It's Bronger, but I, I imagine some people might pronounce it that way. I think the big like thing is me. I just yeah, didn't. Yeah, you sophisticated yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. Should we play our game? Let's now? do it. Let's do it. Okay, round one. <laughs> All right, Matt, as you know, you're going to pick two famous names from the blue deck here. Okay. Flip them up. Let's okay. see where you got. Okay. These one's are two, real, one's not. Two classy folks, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, Susan Sarandon mm -hmm. and Don Draper here. So now we're going to pick a scenario into which you will fantasize one of these folks. Okay. <laughs> this is a frequent pick. Spending a $100 Amazon gift card for you. Yes. Okay, so would you rather have Susan Sarandon or Don Draper spending that $100 Amazon gift? I think Susan Sarandon is amazing, and I respect her work, and she's a, a lovely human being, but I would give it to Don in a heartbeat. Really? Oh, yeah. Don you know. wouldn't even know how to work the computer to, to buy it. Damn it, you know, I didn't even think of that. With the technology, you'd just be, what is this? What? But Don has maybe a, a young, you know, intern from the future or something like that who's just showing him things to buy, and, and he's just... Hammered, but fun hammered. All right, Susan Sarandon's out. Don Draper wins round one. Okay. By the oh. way, your Don Draper what was uncanny? What? That's all you have to do. <laughs> you have to kind of do this and shake a little when you say what. <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. All right, show us what you got. Whoa. Whoa. So we got B. Arthur. And we've got a Ziggy Stardust era David Bowie. Very specific card. Here. I can't pick which of those two I love more. Well, maybe you won't have to pick. Maybe it'll be an unpleasant scenario. You'll have to pick which one you hate more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of these people will be complaining to you, uh, complaining about you to HR. I love this one because it uh, basically assumes that I work with these two in some sort of office scenario. <laughs> I mean, what's the most non creative Accounting. So Ziggy's an accountant. Ziggy Stardust <laughs> is an accountant. Yeah. The Mars man. And uh, I would think B. Arthur would be the CEO of something. I was just going to say, you I think know? B. Arthur would be running the place. And that's messed up. If the, if the head boss, who could just fire you right away, is like, I'm going to complain about you <laughs> to my underlings. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, what God. do you think you did? With B, it was something I definitely deserved. I deserved the complaint. Ziggy is complaining about stuff. Um, I wasn't even aware of how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's affecting my, my yeah. purple energy, you know? Like something like that. And, yeah. and, oh, oh God, so I'm- You're just not sensitive enough for a Ziggy Stardust era. No, and, or, 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 or intergalactic. <laughs> I think that's what it is. He's like, he's not intergalactic enough. Wow. He's not vibing. We that's can't a, share this cubicle anymore. That's Get a out of here. tough rap. It is. Not intergalactic enough. That's why I gotta go with Ziggy. Okay. Uh, because I just want to hear his complaint. Even if I lost my job, I would want to hear what his complaint was. And right. he probably would sing it. He would, I was and it would be amazing. Yeah. He's going to sing it for yeah. you, definitely. Yeah. Time for round three, the variety round. Okay, And great. Uh, you are here promoting your new Netflix special, which is also here in giant square form, <laughs> uh, Big Dumb Animal. Yep. Well, because you're a citizen of Netflix now, mm. I've compiled a list of Netflix categories. So some of these are real and some of them are fake, man. Okay. And you have to figure out which is which. For everyone you get correct, I'll give you two seconds to plug your uh, special to the camera over here. Okay. Okay, ready? Steamy German language movies. <laughs> they say don't bet with your heart, but I'm gonna bet with my heart. Please let that be real. It is real. Steamy German language movies is a real category. Okay. Smarmy animal movies. I'm gonna say that's false. Nick, that one's pushing it. You are correct, that's false. Okay. Feel good satires. That, way. whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna say that's false. That is an actual Netflix category. <laughs> I don't know. That is so specific. Like, that's probably two movies in the pantheon of all film. Uh, bears. Just 
bears? Just bears. Again, I gotta vote with my heart because I hope that's one, yes. Uh, I'm afraid that's fake. See, I knew it. That was wishful thinking. It was that wishful was thinking. thinking. Yeah. Reggae. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ridiculous. I'm gonna go, yeah, that, that's a real one. It is a real category. Bang. Uh, political tear jerkers. Yes, that's real. Is that real? That is real. Romantic Japanese language coming of age crime movies. Yes, that's real. That is false. Okay, sorry. Too long. Uh, witty romantic comedies starring Lee Van Cleef. <laughs> Lee Van Cleef. As much as I want that with all of my heart to be true, that's not. That's not true. Uh, you're you're correct. Okay. Yeah. Western starring George Gabby Hayes with Gabby in quotation marks. I should add. Of course. Yeah. I would say that would be true. That's true. Okay. Okay. Last one. Violent French language movies. That's that's probably true. That's real. Yes. 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 Well done. Thank you. All right, Matt. You got seven correct. That gives you fourteen seconds. A whopping fourteen seconds. Do you want the prop to promote uh, Big Dumb Animal sure. to our audience? Okay. Okay. Right there. And go. Oh boy. Uh, Big Dumb Animal. I recorded last year after a, a, a particularly rough breakup, and I tried to get real personal. That's the uh, the long and the short of it, and um, I'm really proud of it. I hate self promotion. Ready for round three? Let's do it. Matt, your winners from the previous two rounds are Don Draper and Ziggy Stardust era David Bowie. Two sides of the same coin. And we're going to uh, have you pick a final scenario in which these two will face off. Okay. This is why it's an act scenario. Okay. In fact, uh, making coffee with a Keurig coffee maker at the Adidas store. Did he give it to you, like, to, to write down? Making Keurig coffee. <laughs> No, he wrote it at the Adidas store. Can you just do impressions of all the Pick a Choice contestants we've had so far? I'm not a good impression. David Keckner, we had. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! And okay. this should be a beer. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Wyatt Snacks making coffee with uh, at the Adidas store. And uh, do you want David Bowie or Don Draper making that coffee for you? Let me say that Don would be hilarious. Just to watch him, you know. Oh, again, the technology to... gap. Yeah, yeah. With, and just don't give him any direction. He doesn't know what it is. It's like, where's the cop? Like, hitting the side. But I would love to see uh, the creativity. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to see what he would do. He certainly would not make coffee, but he would make something magical. What do you think he would make? You would come back, and that Keurig uh, coffee maker would be disassembled. You know, it'd be like this design, and it would maybe might make it in a strange robot shape, but like a sad robot, I think. Like a robot with its head in its hands, kind of yeah. doing the thinker. Yeah, maybe with a hand up. An high. angsty robot. An sure. angsty robot. Yes, that was heartbroken. You know, <laughs> it would, and he would just say, "This is the first emotional robot, the first robot to feel emotion." <laughs> yeah. And then he'd walk away like with coffee, and he'd go, "Fuck your coffee." That's the last thing you hear. <laughs> I think that is the most poignance anyone will ever get out of <laughs> coffee at the Adidas <laughs> store scenario. So, well done, Matt. Thanks. Uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust era David Bowie, is our winner today. Congratulations, David. And uh, that concludes our game, except I'd like to do one more thing, Matt, and that okay. is, of course, to add a couple cards to the deck. Yes. There's your gold, and here's your blue. Thank you so much for being here, Thanks Matt. Thanks for having me, man. And thank you all for watching. Let's wave goodbye to the folks. Hey.